We often get asked, will the rats or mice die in the roof and the walls when you get a pest treatment done? The answer is possibly yes, but hopefully not. And the way that you reduce that from happening is making sure that you get onto the problem quickly. So if when you have a scratching or some noises in your roof, you get onto the problem quickly and you get the baits laid by a professional uh, pest controller in the right place, like us, then the chances are that you're gonna get onto the problem. The rats will take the baits, they'll leave. It can take three to four days initially for them to do that. And then, you know, it is possible in a couple of weeks time, you might hear some more scratching and more come in and then they'll leave again. But if you do do it quickly, then there'll be less rats there. It's when people don't do a treatment and don't get on top of the problem that you end up with a lot of rats at the property. And then when they do finally treat them, the chance that they'll die inside the roof or the walls is a lot higher. The other thing that you need to keep in mind is the best way to reduce rats around your property is to make sure there's no trees touching the roof. This is really important. A lot of people don't realize Obviously rats can get in really small holes, but if they get onto your roof, it doesn't matter whether it's iron or tiles, there's just so many opportunities for them to get in. Also food around the house, making sure you're not feeding the dogs at night, um, or if they don't finish their food that you clear it up. Um, your, your garden is as tidy as possible is really important as well. So once you've looked at reducing anything around the home to make sure they're not going to be encouraged and you get onto the baits and do the treatment properly, the hope is that you won't have the problem. If however though they do die inside your roof, what we recommend is just give it a few days. Open the house up as much as possible. Ventilation will be the best thing to get the smell and uh, the body to decompose faster um, and the smell to be gone. So give it a bit of time. If after a few days it hasn't gone and you think there's a possibility that it could be a possum, which um, is really sad if that's happened, then you may need somebody like us, a, a professional with like a heat camera to come and look and see if they can find it. But if we do find it, then we've got to cut a hole, remove it, and then you've got to paint and you've got to plaster. So you really don't want to go down that path if it is a rat. So it's mostly about opening the house up, ventilation. Don't burn incense, don't add smells. Um, if you have Glen 20, um, that can be good as a neutralizer. Uh, but mostly, unfortunately, it is about time. If you can avoid the air, ventilate, turn the fans on, that sort of thing should help. So hopefully that's helped and given you a little info more information about whether or not rats will die on your roof. Hopefully it doesn't happen to you. Get onto the problem quickly. Use a professional, get the treatment done quickly, and then hopefully you won't have to deal with that issue. Thanks.